morning guys hope you guys are having a good day remember every single day is a good day and today is a great day to be alive and i am always in my garage this is one of my favorite places to be i love coming out here it's therapeutic i love being in here alone when i can be sometimes the boys come out here and uh, join me in the workouts when they wake up too early but um today what we're going to be doing for working out for our workout is this right here oh I don't know if you can see that it's a little light um, but we got five rounds for a time as many rounds as possible AMRAP for two minutes so we're gonna do two rounds of Cindy which is five pull-ups 10 push-ups 15 air squats and then every round there's gonna be a barbell movement so we're the first round um, we're gonna do power cleans after we go two rounds um, of the Cindy and then whatever time we have left of the two minutes we're gonna try to get as many reps as possible uh, between that uh, the time of the two minutes so uh, if I end with a minute 30 after doing all this I'm gonna try doing 30 seconds of power cleans if that makes any sense there's nothing better than coming out here in the garage and starting your day here because it just clears your head and for me that's especially during times like this it's very important that this is a staple this is an essential part of my day and i can't i can't skip this part That's one thing that I love about coming out here is just being able to get out and just start your day on a positive note. Anything that is tough inside here where I can control um, allows me to control any challenges that I have or face when I get outside of these four walls in the garage. And so that's why it's so important to challenge yourself in the morning so then when you do go out into the world, you, you will be able to just face every challenge because this should be the hardest challenge that you face throughout your day is your workout. Uh, that's just my personal perspective, but another good one. And I wanted to show you, it's been a while, I've been doing some more updates on the gym and I just looking back from where we first started with the garage gym and looking at it now is just absolutely amazing. And I'll just show you what I did. So um, I'll tag the last video that I made about the garage gym at the end of this video. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure you stay tuned to, to check that video out. But this is what I updated. So here, oh, a little bright. There we go. Um, I filled in the holes here for uh, the concrete. Didn't do that great of a job, but it gets the job done. It's a little bumpy in parts, but the holes are filled. And after I filled up the holes, I got new mats here. So before all I had, the mats, all I had was just this area right here, just this area, right? And now I have the whole gym basically covered in mats. Um, if you can remember, this area right here was not drywalled in. So I drywalled that all in this area right here was not drywalled so i put up 
another piece of drywall. And one thing that I absolutely love is this right here. This kind of, this is just a, I forgot what it's called, but I got it at Home Depot. Um, ah, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but I got some over there. Just, this helps with like the aesthetic of the gym, so it looks a little better and everything like that. And I absolutely love the look. It makes it more inviting when you come out here. Like, okay, it, it looks halfway decent. So working on the aesthetics, and then one of the, my favorite things is I built the platform. Um, this is awesome. I love this. Um, if you want me to make a video on it, let me know in the comments below. But basically what I did was I used old mats. You can tell it's not the best. But I wanted to use scrap mats that I had to make the platform just because I didn't want to use some of the new stuff. And I really don't care. It serves its purpose. And the best thing about it is when you work out in the garage, sometimes the floor can get a little moist and your feet can slip. And when you have wood here, it allows your feet to stick. And you have better squat sessions, better lifting squat sessions. And it just makes it a better overall, better experience when you come out here. So that's what I'm trying to do. The next thing that we're going to get is a ski erg and hopefully a bike erg. Fingers crossed. So it's coming along. And, you know, that just reminds me that you have got to have patience during the process. I say that all the time. You got to have patience during the process when you are doing anything, whether it's building a garage gym, building your body, trying to get that job you want. You got to have patience. <laughs> amazing i i had been saving up for this biker for a really really long time i over this course of this pandemic i've been basically selling stuff that i don't use and i've saved enough money to actually buy this bike erg and my whole goal before i purchased this was to buy the bike erg and the ski erg all together um, so i don't have to pay for shipping or tax uh, twice and actually two weeks ago you know, you guys already know I'm a hustler, and I started to do Amazon Flex, and so I earned some a little bit of extra money to save up for the this bike erg, and I'm so thankful that I did because the other day uh, I saw one on Facebook Marketplace, and it was actually from my, one of my old bosses from Best Buy when I used to work there. He was selling it, so I messaged him right away and offered him uh, an offer. He accepted it. And now we got the bike erg. And it's so cool to see everything just come into place um, for the garage gym. I love just getting new pieces of an equipment uh, in here where I could come, work on my fitness, and just have different options, right? Um, this is going to be great because in the wintertime, if I don't feel like coming out here, um, I could just permanently bring this inside the, the house and we can ride it in the house. And my first time using this, it was excellent. It's like, be it was so smooth. Um, I love the monitor. I've always loved the P5, PM5 monitor. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed. So this is definitely, I'm definitely going to use this for like warming up um, when I start my workouts and stuff like that. So, wow. I'm just looking around. I'm like, yes, this is, it's coming to, it's coming to fruition. The garage gym. Yes. So, but that's that's the update on the garage. And what do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the garage. What should I add? Um, you know, it's always a work in progress, but you got to create a place where you, you want to come because there's so many times where people buy equipment and they it just collects dust because they don't use it and they don't feel motivated. So if you can create a space that keeps you motivated, that's that's the goal so i think i got that here two hours later no it's not a beach ball okay close your eyes 
Close your eyes. Don't play. Close your eyes. Hey, close your eyes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Open your eyes. <gasps> what is it? Are those sunglasses? You want to try them on? You want to try them on? Let's see. Where are the water balloons? I couldn't find them. They didn't have them. What do you think, Malcolm? Let's see. Whoa. Who are you? Gecko. You're Gecko. Jackson, who are you? Gecko. No, you're Cat Boy. <laughs> got some ribs on the grill, cooking them at a low heat, and uh, flipping them almost every five minutes. So, let's see how they turn out. What do you got for dinner? Um, just, um, just, um, this, um, this. What's the, what's the sauce? Um, sauce. It's just sauce? Yeah. Where's it from? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Do you like Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I do like <laughs> Jackson, what? how are you doing over there? You eating good? Nope. Nope? Oh, oh, oh. You missed your mouth. Oh, oh, oh. You missed. Did you get it? Yeah. What do you got? Do you got the same thing? No? What do you got? What is that? Pasta? No. You got to get some veggies on that plate, right? Some vegetables? Yes, we gotta get some vegetables. <laughs> so one of the things that we've been trying to do as a family is, since there's no like water parks open, a lot of things are closed, we're trying to bring the fun to us, right? And earlier today, I didn't have luck, but I wanted to get some of those water balloons things where you just hook it up to the hose and you can, um, fill like a hundred balloons in like seconds couldn't find it we only get summertime for about three or four months out of the year and the rest of the year is kind of hit or miss right and so we got to make the fun the best out of our summertime and we can't let 2020 and COVID-19 and all the terrible things that have that have been happening in 2020 stop us from having a great summer so we got to bring the fun to us and uh, that's what we're going to do. Jackson, do you like being outside? No? Yes or no? Yes? Yeah, that's good.